how to send newsletters emails in Shopify hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial in today's video I'm going to show you how simple it is to create a newsletter email and also send it to the recipients or the clients of your store so it is very easy and very simple all you need to do is you follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go so Basically, the first thing that you need to do is to head over your Shopify store or head uh, over Shopify.com, sign in for an account within this platform until you're going to see here at the admin dashboard. So once you have arrived in this case or in this page, you are be uh, or being ready for the next steps. So here we need to clarify something that everything should be in order into your store. That means you need to add the product, you need to add or set up the customers or the uh, collections and also the customers data. So you can go ahead and add some customers manually, import them or gain them or collect the information about them by using uh, here third tier apps or third party apps where they're like uh, MailChimp and etc. So from here you have already set up the shipping and also the payment method and these these are things that we should not talk about because normally they are going to be here mandatory on the store. So basically we are going to head over here at the search bar at the top when you finish every step that I have mentioned before and type in email. So basically we are going to search on for the email in the Shopify app store and two, we are going to see the app of Shopify email. I'm going to select this one and now we are going to click on install. This is the Shopify email or official app. So we are going to install it in just a few seconds. It will be added right there. So here we have it. We're going to wait for the loading screen of the app and then we can begin creating our newsletter email. So it will take a little bit of time from the beginning so they or it will be uh, synchronizing the data from your shop. So as you can see we have here the uh, dashboard of the app. We have the templates and we have the ability to set or create the campaign or create an automation. So for the templates, we can go ahead and create a template or a standard template for all the email campaigns. We're going to see here the type or the uh, recommended ones of, depending on the category right there. So we have mentioned at the beginning of the video that we are going to create or send newsletters emails. So we are going to see here the category of the templates and we are going to choose from it newsletters. So here we have it. Now, all we need to do is to select one of the newsletters and then we are going to customize it. So in case you do not see something interesting, and as you can see, we have some more newsletters, we are going to head over Canva and create a custom newsletter for us. So I'm going to head over Canva. Here I have an account within the platform. I'm going only to type in here newsletters like that. Click on enter. Boom. We are going to see here tons and tons of newsletters that are ready to be customized. So let's choose maybe this one. And here I am going to uh, give you a tip for the newsletter using on uh, Canva. So it is going to be depending on the type of product or what are you doing into your Shopify store or website. So if you are basically selling something, you need to set up a newsletter that is going to report some new products, some new arrivals and some, uh, let's say here, information about a new product that is going to be here on the market soon. So we are going to stuff the newsletter with a lot of product links and also promotions and discounts. So let's see here if we have something similar to what we've had talked about. So basically I'm going to see here more. So 
I am going to choose from these like that and then we are going to add whatever we want. So I'm going to select this one, click on customize this and then we are going to begin customizing it. So basically I'm going to zoom it a little bit like that and start setting up or uh, modifying the images. I'm going to delete the image here and here, here also and this one. So we are going to head over the elements and check for images like clothes right there. So we are going to see only the photos. So let's go ahead and choose some photos and replace those. So let the photos right there charge or uh, upload. I'm going to change here the some of the text right here. So we are going to make it customized or um, a little bit here, uh, let's say personalized. So here is what's, for example, new. I'm going to put it like that. Uh, here, exclamation mark. So let's go ahead and add a right there. Or for example, we are going to put up here a duplicated text. Newsletter uh, for here, Dax. Store, for example, Dax stores. I'm going to set up here something like this photo. So we are going to select more photos like this, that one. I am going to see here more photos. Hopefully uh, the images will be uh, loaded soon because I don't know why it is taking a little bit of time to load up, but it is okay. So let's go ahead and add more photos like this I'm going to make this photo here boom and another or the last photo is going to be this one so basically i'm going to make it like that so now i'm going to download this uh, right there newsletter as not a pdf but a png so we have our image ready i'm going to create here or select blank click on select and we are going to open up here the editor. So template number one, I'm going to be satisfied with that. So the section, as you can see, is uh, right there on the footer is going to be uh, here dark. So I'm going to let it right there and I'm going to add a section. That section is going to be containing an image. I'm going to upload an image here real quick. So it is going to be that newsletter. So uh, also we can go ahead and add some buttons, for example, and this button is going to be getting to my products. So all my products. And now for this button, I'm going to name it here, uh, uh, get or see the store or visit, visit the store. How about this image? I thought that I have added the image, but it is okay. Sometimes it will not work properly. So it is as usual for the image uploader. So we are going to wait for the image to upload just a few seconds. So we have our newsletter image here. You can add some more sections if you want, like image with text and multi, multi columns, gift cards or discount. For example, I'm going to add here a discount. So this discount is going to be here uh, set up. You can go ahead and create a discount right for your uh, attendance of this specific one. And I'm going to set it as automatic here. Uh, welcome, welcome like that. Discount. So we are going to set up here a percentage of 15% browse all the products so no minimum requirements we are going to set it like that click on save normally we have created our discount so we are going to wait for it here select a discount 
it will pop up right there in just a few seconds we are going to maybe need it to uh, refresh the page so it doesn't matter a lot for the discount so you need to set it up right there and apply it uh, you can go ahead and set up the requirements the button and see the content when you finish you are going to click on done and then from this specific email template you can go ahead and send a test uh, for an email address and see it right there and if you want to work with it you can go ahead and click on email and create a campaign right there select uh, the logo and also the uh, right there uh, the example email as you can see are going to set it as a newsletter and send it that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i hope to see you soon on the next one